Next question. Um, when heated, iron free nitrate is converted into iron free oxide, nitrogen dioxide, and oxygen. Okay, so lots of molecules reacting here. A 2.16 gram sample of iron free nitrate was completely converted into the product shown. Calculate the amount in moles of iron free nitrate in the 2.16 gram sample. Give your answer to free sig figs. Okay, thankfully, because we're doing that anyway, we don't need to worry about that, but make sure you do give it to free sig figures. This question is one mark. What that's telling me is I only need to use one equation. Okay, that equation is equation one. Okay, moles is mass divided by MR. It, the mass of the uh, sample is 2.16 grams. It even tells me MR in the question. Okay, this is about as easy as it's going to get. So 2.6 over 241.8 gives me 0 0.00893, making sure that is two free sig figs. Right. I'm again, I'm going to store that just in case I need it later. Calculate the amount of moles of oxygen gas produced in this reaction. Okay. I'm not told anything about the oxygen that's produced, but what I am given is the fact that four, the ratio, sorry, of iron nitrate to oxygen is four to three. Okay, so every four moles of this reacting, I will produce three moles of oxygens. Okay, so the ratio of the iron nitrate to oxygen is four to three. So I'm actually going to have slightly under this number of moles of oxygen produced. Okay, the way to actually uh, calculate this is to do my answer there. So 0 0.0893 divided by 4, because that would give me um, uh, 1 mole, if you like, then times by 3. So my answer here, divided by 4 times by 3, gives me 0 0.00669. Um, and a bit. If we actually run this up, that's going to be 0 0.00670 moles of oxygen. Next question then. Calculate the volume of nitrogen dioxide gas at 293 degrees C and 100 kilopascals produced from 2.6 grams of iron nitrate. It gives me what the gas constant R is. If you've been unable to obtain an answer for part one, you may assume that the moles of iron nitrate is 0.00642. It's not too different from what we've got, so that would make me quite confident that is right. Okay, this is not the correct answer. Right, it's really nicely highlighted for us. We want nitrogen dioxide this time. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is actually calculate the moles of nitrogen dioxide. Let's look at the top. The ratio is 4 to 3. So therefore, I'm going to use my value here. Okay, let's write this out in full. So moles of NO2. Okay, and I'm going to use the same idea again, 0.0893 divided by 4 times 12. Okay, luckily I've kept that stored as A, so I'm going to just do A divided by 4 times 12, and I get 0.0268. I'm going to store this as B. Okay, what do I need to do next? The volume in meters cubed of nitrogen gas produced. So this time I'm going to be using equation 4, PV equals NRT. So let's just put in the numbers that I've got and see where we get to. Okay, the P, it's telling me 100 kilopascals. Okay, 100 kilopascals is 100,000 pascals. It wants the volume, so V is what I want to work out. Okay, I've just calculated the number of moles, 0 0.0268. It gives me R. 8.314, and it tells me that the temperature is um, 293 degrees C. Okay, there's a trick here. We do not want the temperature in degrees C for this calculation. We want it in Kelvin. To get from degrees C to Kelvin, we just add 273. Okay, so plus 273. Okay, the reason we do this is that 273 Kelvin is the same as 0 degrees C. Okay, so it's going to be times... 293 plus 273. If I um, work this through, 0.0268 times 8.314 times 293 plus 273. Making sure that I don't make a mistake in the calculator. Equals 
since I've still got 100,000 on that side, I'm going to divide by 123. And this should give me an answer in um, meters cubed, which gives me 1.26 times 10 to the minus 3 meters cubed. Okay, so four marks for that. Not horrendous, but make sure you remember to convert degree C to Kelvin. Um, and that's it, really. That's the trick for that one. Uh, final question, then. I quite like this question. It's got a trick in, which is a quite difficult spot. Um, it says, nitromethane is used as an energy-rich fuel for motor racing. It burns in oxygen, forming three gases. Okay. It's really nice it's told you that. Let's remember that there were gases there. A one mole sample of nitromethane was burned in oxygen, forming the product shown in the equation above. Calculate the total volume of gases produced at 298 Kelvin and 100 kilopascals. Assume, assume that water is gaseous. So there's a few tricks here, and there's also two ways we can approach this question. Um, the first one is that it wants the total volume of gases. Therefore, we need to consider the fact that we've got two moles of CO2, three moles of gaseous water, and another mole of nitrogen. So in total on the right hand side, if we were reacting two molecules of um, nitromethane, we would produce three, four, five, six molecules on the right hand side. However, this is the part which is gonna catch, catch us out. We want a one mole sample, okay? So if we had two moles Okay, of nitromethane, we would produce, well, we would produce, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six moles molecules. But we don't, we've only got one. So, therefore, one mole of nitromethane will produce three moles of products. Okay, so that's the first trick in this question. We've now actually got two options. And the way which I would have answered this question is I would have spotted the fact that this is room temperature and pressure. That's 25 degrees C, that's 100 kilopascals. What that means is you can, if you want, use equation three here, if you can remember it. Okay, so what do we want? The total volume of gases, so vol. is gonna be number of the moles, so producing three moles times by 24, okay? What this number here means is that every um, every mole of an ideal gas would fill up 24 decimeters cubed. Okay, so this is our first way we could do it. Nice and simple, 24 times three, which gives us um, 72 decimeters cubed. Okay, the way which I think the question is set up to, 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 to try and get you to answer is actually using the ideal gas equation. So if we were to put the numbers into PV equals nRT, um, and we had 100,000 kilopascals, and we're working out V again, N is three, um, R is 8.31, and the temperature is 298, we would actually get a slightly different answer. Okay, this time we get 0.0743, However, this answer is in meters cubed. Actually, these two answers are very, very similar because that's in decimeters cubed, that's in meters cubed. The difference arises because this number 24 is not perfectly accurate. But I assume in this case, you would get full marks either way. Um, final part. This combustion reaction is very, very exothermic and reaches temperatures of 1,000 uh, 1, Kelvin. Sorry. Determine the total volume of gases when the temperature is raised to 1,000 Kelvin at a constant pressure. Okay? So, um, if you wanted to just use PV equals nRT again, you could do that. That is, that is absolutely fine. Okay? Uh, easy way to do it. Um, the other way to spot is that if everything else is kept constant, it's just going to increase, increase the direct ratio. So the easiest way to do this, let's use this number. The easiest way to do this, 0.0743, okay, is to work out the ratio um, of 298 Kelvin to 1000 Kelvin. So we simply actually have to times that by 1000, divided by 298, because that's going to give us the ratio, times 1000 over 298, 
and that gives us 0.249 meters cubed. Okay, try and calculate this one using um, PV plus NRT again and see what you get, but it should be the same as that. Okay, I hope this video has been helpful. Please, please let me know if you have any um, questions about this. I'm more than happy to help. Thank you very much.